Here we are. You ready? I guess so. No pressure. Um, this is mostly for the learning of the other people, so you're not like um, on the hot seat or anything. All we're trying to do is demonstrate what it looks like to solve a problem in a way that not only works for your mom, but also works for you. Okay? Your job, um, I'm going to have you announce the unsolved problem, Mom, because I'm not exactly sure of the wording, starting with the word difficulty. Ryland, your job will be to um, tell us what's hard for you about the expectation that we're going to be talking about. Yeah. And that's the first step. The second step will be Mom telling us why she thinks it's important for you to meet that expectation. And then the third step will be us trying to come up with a solution that works for both you and Mom. Okay? Now what you're going to hear me doing for the sake of the people who are learning about this is a lot of the time I'm going to be announcing what I'm doing, saying what I'm doing, okay? Just so they know what they're seeing, all right? But um, besides that, let's just relax. Cool. Mom, let's start. Okay. I have, to, I have the hard part. I have to try and word it. I've noticed okay. that. <laughs> Hmm? She can do it. <laughs> she can do it. Uh, okay, Ryland has difficulty completing his drama homework on time. Okay, and the drama homework is what? Uh, learning lines. And he's supposed to learn the lines how? By memorizing. Got it. Memorizing lines. And he, how, what, by what process is Ryland supposed to memorize his lines? Bringing them home. Yeah. And, and doing this alone or doing this with you? Doing like it you're with looking me. at the lines and yes, saying doing it with them? Yes, doing it with me. Doing it with you? Yes. So difficulty practicing the lines for drama, yeah. for homework with mom. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Now comes the big question. Tell us about that. What's hard about that? Not just, I, I'm, I practice on my own too, sometimes. But like, it's kinda hard, I don't really know how to describe it, but... I feel like I don't have the right mindset, like, of mainstream kids. I feel like my mind can not, like, remember things as good as theirs. Like, these kids are, like, done their work. Like, like in with one week, I'm like, I can't remember things quickly. That well, quickly. Yeah. Got it. So, um, for the group, this is reflective listening. One reason that you're having difficulty practicing the lines with mom is because you feel like other kids remember them faster than you do. Yeah. Yes. Let me ask you just if, if I want to find out if you... If I say that slightly differently, if it's still true, do you feel like it takes you too long, or is it only that the you think the other kids are doing it faster than you? Well, kind of uh, both of things you said. <clears throat> they do do it long. Uh, well, I it takes me longer than them. Yep. But them, I don't. And they're faster than you. Yeah, I just feel like they might be a little bit smarter than. Me. Smarter than you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the, what gives you the impression that they're smarter than you is? Well, uh, that looks like some of the kids in my class are older, but I don't, some of my, in my grade seem to get, get to things quicker than I do. Okay. So, um, are faster and smarter the same thing? Or not. Yeah. So one thing we know for sure, well we don't know this for sure, we know that you feel that they are faster than you in doing some things. When you say smarter, is that what you're referring to or are you referring to something else that makes you think that they're smarter than you? Well, uh, like a lot of the people can write bigger like paragraphs than me. I am a very creative person, but uh, I can't really think of things that quickly 
to put on things. It is like in class we do reflections. All the kids like have big sentences like written down without them having to stop. But I have to stop every once in a while because I can't. Sometimes I forget what I'm supposed to be writing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. That's still kind of faster. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And if faster and smarter are not the same thing, so far the examples you're giving are mostly faster examples. Unless you th feel that faster and smarter means the same thing. What do you think? They, they might not mean the same thing, but like smart people that can do stuff fast is like like a combination that probably seems like a good combination. Got it. Um, and you are slower, and at least you feel not as smart. Yeah. Yes. So that's one thing that's getting in the way of you memorizing your lines. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are there any other things that are getting in the way of you practicing your lines with mom for homework? Uh, well, uh, with my teachers, like, uh, I do try to do my homework and my lines and all that, but they kind of stress me out a little bit. Uh, like my main teacher mm -hmm. is. Pretty, pretty supportive and helps me, but there's always once in a while like where like I try to do something on my own speed, but they're always saying hurry up, and uh, I kind of need more time to like go over things. I can't just like hurry up right there. This is very good to know. So. On the, um, I get that in general, that you don't like being hurried up. Is there a deadline on memorizing the lines for drama? Yeah, there is. I don't always really get things done on the deadlines. Right. And um, so let's think about the drama teacher a little bit too. She's a she. Yeah. She wants you to have your lines memorized by a certain day because... we got to perform on the other ones, the other days. Got it. And if you don't know your lines? Uh, I, I don't know. Mm. And you have to like, perform, like uh, just try and memorize them. Okay. So she has a deadline for learning your lines. And what I think you just told me is that having a deadline doesn't always work for you, right? Yeah. Because you can't always meet the deadline, because sometimes it takes you a little bit longer to memorize your lines than people are expecting you to do. Fair? Okay. Do, do you and your mom agree on how you should memorize the lines? Like, should you do it on your own? Should you do it practicing with her? Do you think you guys agree on what that should look like when you're memorizing your lines? I guess so. Like, I don't have any problem with uh, practicing them with my mom. Okay. <coughs> so the practicing them with your mom part is not a part that makes it hard to yeah. do it. What else is making it hard? So, so far we've got uh, deadlines don't help you as it relates to the memorizing of your lines or a lot of other things, right? And the, it feels to you like the other kids are faster than you in memorizing their lines. Yes? Yeah. And maybe that means they're smarter too, although we're not so sure about that part. Yes? Yeah. Any other things? By the way, for the group, that was a summary. Any other things making it difficult for you to memorize the lines for drama, for homework? Uh, anything else? Like, if I find something that's like a big, long thing, like, if, if I'm trying to looking for short things to read, but the, there's not that many short things and they're all just like big short ones, I do get a little stressed out because I uh, panic and I don't know how to like remember them like at a time. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're saying is that some of the things you're supposed to memorize are quite long. Yeah. 
and that stresses you out because you're not exactly sure how to approach it. Yeah. The longer it is, the more stressed out you get. Yeah, pretty much. Got it. So now we got three things, right? The long ones get you stressed out because you're not sure how to approach them. Um, deadlines do not help, and you feel like the other kids are going to be able to do it faster than you. Yes? Yeah. We're learning a lot here. Mom, did you know all this stuff? Not all of it. I knew some of it. Good. Yeah. What we're always looking for in this step is new info, mm -hmm. right? Any new info is gold. Because if we don't know what's making it hard for Ryland to memorize the lines for drama, for homework, then we won't be able to solve it, right? You're doing great, by the way. Um, so those are our three so far. But I always like to know everything. Anything else making it hard for you to memorize the lines for drama, for homework? Uh, not much more than I already said. Uh, I don't. Have we pretty much covered it? Yeah. Okay. Now, for the group, Ryland has just told us, you've just told us that um, there's nothing else. Okay. And technically, that's where the first step ends. But there's one condition under which that might not be when the first step ends. And that is, I've got some ideas bouncing around in my head for other things that might be making it hard for you to memorize your lines. Can I take a few guesses here? <coughs> And I could be completely wrong on all of these, so don't agree with me just because I'm guessing them. I could be wrong, so let me know. Um, does mom bug you to memorize your lines? No, she say, mom's fine. Mom's fine. Does she remind you to memorize your lines? Yeah. Does mom remind, it's very hard for moms not to remind their sons to do stuff. Have you noticed? Yes. Yeah. Um, does mom reminding you that you've got to memorize your lines make it easier or harder for you to memorize your lines? Uh, well, she's really good when it comes to helping me go over things. Like, she, my mom's like way different from my teachers. She actually has the nice tone, like, and that's what I like. My mom's not like, hurry up, read, hurry, read this. Uh, she like gives, lets me read my, like, I read the speed, uh, and, like, sometimes I stutter and I can't put, like, say words properly. She, she waits. That's what I like about having a mom that can listen. Like, when you got somebody in your family that listens, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Good to know, huh, Mom? Yeah. You know what, you know what just happened? Mom's crying. <laughs> But that was a very nice thing for you to say about mom. Those are happy tears. Good. So mom bugging you about memorizing your lines is not getting in the way. No. I got another guess. I heard a little bit about you last yesterday. I know that you like to be online. Yeah. Yes. Is it ever the case that you are having difficulty getting off whatever you're doing online? so that you can memorize your lines and practice with mom? Uh, I do like spending a lot of time on technology, but, um, sorry, I got breathing problems. Uh, I do like to do technology, but like uh, when it comes to getting off to go places and doing stuff. Mm -hmm. I struggle a little bit, but like if there's one thing I want to do very quickly, I, I, can, like, I can do that quickly and then I can, can go off to the homework. Got it. And is re memorizing the lines something that you would get off the technology to do? Or is that hard? When it's homework, because like I don't get much homework. Yeah. But when it, there is homework, uh, I uh, I do it like I sp uh, my mom lets me spend the time on like like uh, the internet and all that. But like when it's time for me to like help her out cleaning stuff, like cleaning my church and like house, 
I, I, uh, like, I finish quickly what I'm doing, and then I, uh, jump up and I go help her. Got it. You also mentioned another guess. You mentioned something about that you sometimes stutter. Yes? Yeah. Now, I am, actually haven't heard you stutter yet, but I believe you. Is the fact that you stutter, and I'm still guessing, right? So far, I have not turned out to be a very good guesser, but there's just a few things I want to check in with you about. Do you think that there's anything about stuttering that makes it harder for you to memorize the lines? Well, like, uh, when I'm, like, reading, mm -hmm. uh, I do get the problems where I can't. I can pronounce a lot of long, like, weird words. But sometimes the like the other words that I know how they're properly said, they don't come out properly how I say it, think they are. And sometimes I, uh, when I'm confused, when I, uh, I'm reading things that I might not understand, and I'm reading pretty quickly, I do uh, get uh, stuttering. And is that something that makes it harder for you to memorize the lines? Because you're, well, I don't want to say because. Is there anything about the fact that you stutter or sometimes have difficulty reading the big words that makes it harder for you to memorize the lines? Uh, not, it, does, it doesn't really affect me like when I'm uh, remembering things. Okay. I just, I only really stutter when I get stressed out. But when you're reading and read the lines, does that affect it? Uh, Not the memorizing part, but the reading part? Sometimes uh, it affects it, because like, if I stutter, I sometimes forget when I am reading. Got it. And so the stuttering could make it hard to read it, for sure. Yes. Yeah. It is, I'm not sure I understand the difference between reading it and memorizing it. Help me understand the difference between reading it and memorizing it. Well, like, uh, memorizing, I have to read it over and then I have to try and, like, read it again, but not without, like, without reading it off the paper. I just have to right. say it in my mind. Okay. So, do you sometimes stutter when you're trying to repeat the line back, even though you're not, not reading it, you're trying to repeat it back? Does stuttering get in the way then? Uh, sometimes. Because, uh... Sometimes I forget what the next word is, and I repeat the Got it. same one I've already said. So this is, this is actually interesting, because it could frustrate you while you're reading it, if you're stuttering or having trouble reading a word. That could make it difficult also for you to memorize it, because if you're stuttering or having difficulty reading a word, you might forget the next word. Yes? Yeah. Um, Another question that I have is, when you're stuttering and reading it and trying to memorize it, are you also thinking about what it's going to be like when you're trying to perform it? Or is that not something that enters your mind? Uh, when I'm performing, I don't uh, have really difficult uh, things on speech, like when I talk. Interesting. Why do you think that is? I guess that I can, like, get them through properly without, like, any stress, because nowadays uh, when I perform, I don't really ha I don't really uh, get, like, stressed out when I am, like, doing stuff. Got it. Like, performing on stage. That's good to know. But the process of <coughs> memorizing it, you might get stressed out. Yeah? yeah. Yes? But once you've got it memorized and you're performing it, it's not stressful. No. That's, very, that's a very good thing to know, that for the f people who are listening, how it's different in one condition and not another, which would be strategy number three. Performing is not stressful. Memorizing is stressful. Reading is stressful, especially if you're stuttering or if there's a word you're not sure about. Right? Yes? All right, so the four things that are making it difficult for you to memorize the lines are you feel like the other kids are faster and smarter than you, and you're slower. Um, deadlines stress you out, and you can't always meet them. Stuttering sometimes makes it hard for you to remember to memorize the lines. 
and um, it's very stressed if the reading and the memorizing is stressful if a word is long or if a paragraph is long and you're not sure how to approach it. Yes? Yeah. Believe it or not, I'm going to ask again. Anything else making it difficult for you to memorize the lines for homework, for drama? Um, not really. I think that's... I think we covered course, it. Yeah. Got it. And I'm done guessing. Do you have any guesses, Mom? Ryla, notice. <laughs> we like to be crystal clear on what's making it hard. Because if we're not crystal clear on what's making it hard, we won't be able to address what's making it hard. So, Mom, do you have any guesses about, based on what you've seen? I'm not there when I Ryland's having trouble memorizing his lines for homework. Any guesses that you want to throw into the hopper? Um, well, I noticed that it might be hard when you don't bring home the homework <laughs> that's supposed to be done. So if you don't have the lines at home, practice. Does that, does that have any difficulty for you? No, bring it home. Mm -hmm. Bringing it home to actually have it at home to practice? I do bring it home, I just forget to bring it out of my, my bag. So uh, forget, having difficulty getting it out of your bag could make it hard for you to memorize the lines. Your observation is that it frequently doesn't come home? Mm -hmm. Are you uh, always aware of the distinction between it not coming home and it not coming out of the bag? No. No, I'm just not aware that it exists at all. <laughs> Got it. I'm not aware that the homework exists until I get an email a month later saying, saying that, that this Ryland is not memorizing his lines. Yeah. Got it. So you're not even aware that he's got lines to memorize? No. And Ryland is saying he does bring it home, it just doesn't come out of his backpack. Mm -hmm. And Ryland is not telling you if he has lines mm -hmm. to memorize. Because he very rarely has homework, so it's not something that's consistently on my mind to ask. <laughs> that brings up another guess that I have. Do you sometimes forget that you have lines to memorize? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. I do have an interesting question to ask. I'd love to know the answer to before we ask. We're about to be done with your concerns. So we're about to be done with step number one. You're hanging in there? Yeah. Good. So we're about to hear mom's concerns. But I got a question that's been fascinating me here, so I've got to ask it. Do you want to be in drama? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Do you, you want to be in plays and stuff? Yeah. Okay. So is anybody forcing you to do drama? No. Okay. Got it. Thought I'd ask. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to just summarize one more time. You can tell how much I don't like leaving the empathy step until I'm sure we got everything. Other kids are faster and smarter, you feel. You're a little slower. Deadlines don't help. Stuttering makes it harder. Reading and memorizing is stressful, especially if there are long words or paragraphs. And um, you're not always telling mom that you have lines to memorize, and you're not always remembering that you have lines to memorize. Mm. Correct? Yeah. Is there anything else making it difficult for you to m memorize your lines for drama, for homework? Mm. No, I don't think so. The empathy step is now done. Now let's listen to mom's concerns about, and, and mom's not disagreeing with anything that you're saying. She's not saying that you're in trouble, but we do need to hear why mom thinks it's important for you to memorize your lines. Mom, go ahead. Okay, well, I think it's important because I think that you like to be in drama, and I think that you like to do the plays, and you like performing. It's something you, you choose to do. So... I want to see you be successful and not be stressed out because I've heard you say that you may as well just quit drama and not do it. And I think that you really enjoy when you do the plays, so I want to help you be able to do the, do the lines, do the hard stuff so that you can get to the stuff that you like. That makes sense? Yeah. 
So I'm going to say that a little more succinctly. <laughs> no, that was fine. I'm just saying because I got to put it into the invitation, so I'm going to make it a little more succinct. You think it would be a shame for Ryland to? You think it's a shame for Ryland to be stressed out about something he likes, mm -hmm. and you think it would be a shame for him to quit drama just because it's stressful? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Rylan, we now have to make a decision. We have all your concerns on the table, and we have mom's concerns on the table. But you had five different concerns, and I'm happy to repeat them if you want me to. We can't work on all five of them at once. I don't think it's going to be the same solution to all of them. So now I'm going to ask you to let me know either which one you think you most want to try to do something about today, or which one you think is getting in the way the most. We can do it either way. Um, which one is either getting in the way the most or the one you want to try to get solved today the most? Do you want to work on the other kids being faster and smarter and you being a little bit slower? Um, do you want to work on the fact that deadlines aren't helpful? Do you want to uh, work on the stuttering being stressful? Do you want to work on that the reading and the memorizing is, st is stressful, especially if it's a long word or paragraph? Or do you want to work on that mom doesn't always know when you have something to memorize and you're not always remembering? Which of those do you think is getting in the way the most? Or the one that you'd actually like to work on the most? Do you want him to say them again? <laughs> What's that? Do you want him to say them again? Uh, yeah. <coughs> I'm going to go in the reverse order. You're having trouble remembering to work on the lines, and mom doesn't always know when you have lines to memorize. And but by the way, if, if you ask me which of these do I think would be the easiest to solve, that would be the one. Okay? The not remembering and mom not knowing. But we don't have to go with what's easiest. Reading words you don't understand or paragraphs you don't understand is stressful. That would be number two. Stuttering is a little stressful. That would be number three. Knowing you have a deadline is stressful. It's number four. And you feeling like you're slower than the other kids would be number five. Which one do you think is either getting in the way the most or the one you want to work on first? And if you don't care, if you don't um, have a preference, then we can ask mom what her preference would be. Do you have a preference for which one of those we work on first? Which one's most important to you? Which one do you think is getting in the way the most? I'm not sure. Maybe the one? The deadline one. Interesting. I'm happy to go with the deadline one. Um, should we try to go with the deadline one? Yeah, sure, probably. Mom, do you have a different opinion about which one is getting in the way the most? I don't know. I have a feeling that the deadline one is stressing him out yes. a lot, so I think that probably is a big one. Let's roll with it. Yeah. What can we do about the fact that there is a deadline and the fact that it's stressing you out so that you don't get so stressed out and don't feel like you want to quit drama, which you enjoy? Do you have any ideas? All right, so let me lay it out there. You get stressed about the deadline, right? Your mom knows you get stressed out, doesn't want to see you get stressed out, and certainly doesn't want to see you quit drama because she knows you enjoy it. How can we solve those two things? Is there anything we can do about the deadline and the fact that it stresses you out so that this doesn't become unenjoyable because you really enjoy drama and your mom wants to make sure you continue enjoying drama? What can we do about those two things? Deadline, keep it enjoyable. I guess it gives me more, uh, more time to 
Um, well, remember as long as, like, go over things. Very interesting. Very interesting. Maybe if you had more time, then the deadline would not stress you out so much. Yes? Yeah. What would that look like? I mean, in my imagination, I know what it could look like. Because my bet, I could be wrong, is that the drama teacher knows what plays are coming up and could give you your lines so that you had much more time to memorize them. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Goodness. Goodness. Now, she's not here, <coughs> so we don't know if that would work for her, but that sure does seem like something that would work on the surface of it. Mom, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Get the lines way ahead of time so that the deadline is not strict. Now, let me ask you this. If you got the lines way ahead of time so that you had more time to memorize them, do you think the deadline would stop stressing you out because you have more time? It could stress me out less. Yeah. It would stress you out less. Yeah. Got it. How much time... What well, I don't know how this works. Between getting the lines and the performance, how much time do you usually have to memorize them? A month? Six weeks? Not long yeah, One week. Be because it's a this is a drama class, so they do a lot of little skits Got it. that they perform. So I is it one week? I think maybe it's two or three weeks. Like is it okay? I don't know because I don't see it coming home, so I'm not right. sure. But I know it is because they do a lot of small skits, Plays. so it's quite frequent. It's not just one big play that he's doing. It's. Got For it. the whole semester, they're doing multiple multiple little skits. And, I mean, are you in every play? No. Yeah. And do you think that it's doable for you to learn lines that quickly? If I have uh, more time, then I can learn them easier. So if you had more time, it would be doable. But do I understand that you have to memorize new lines almost every week? Yeah, pretty much. Is that, is that reasonable to think that you would be able to do? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not as sure. Because I'm hearing about all of the, how stressful it is and all the different things that are making it hard for you. I'm starting to wonder, and we don't have to go in this direction, I'm starting to wonder if it's really realistic for you to memorize new lines every week and get them all memorized and have it not be stressful. Is that really realistic that you'd be able to do that? I want to be able to remember like a set of lines that quickly. You would not be able to memorize them that quickly. Yeah. So it could be that we need we would need the drama teacher to really finish this part off, both as it relates to does Ryland really have to be in a performance every week, but secondly, whether Ryland could get his lines so that he doesn't have just one week to memorize them. That's something we'll have to talk to the drama teacher about. Okay? These would be very good things for the drama teacher to know. Mm -hmm. Because right now, all the drama teacher's doing is complaining to you and it doesn't get done. I don't like the setup, right? But I'm betting that the drama teacher doesn't know all that because we were doing this mm -hmm. and the drama teacher's not here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to have to let the drama teacher know.